Mr. President, the uh, Republican leader was here a, a few moments ago uh, discussing an issue which I think is, uh, is gotten a lot of play here lately, and that is this um, attempt by Democrat members of the Texas legislature to come to Washington, D.C. to protest legislation that is being moved through the legislature in the state of Texas. In fact, this is the cover of one of the yesterday's um, newspapers, or I should say today's newspapers, has a photo there of all the uh, Democrat legislators from Texas meeting with the Democrat leadership here in the United States Senate. And allegedly they're here uh, playing hooky from their jobs in Texas, uh, having flown in, I'm told, on private jets, so much for uh, doing something about the climate, to uh, protest the fact that in Texas their voice is not being heard and they're not being given input into the legislative process there. And I point that out simply because it is really incredibly ironic. I mean, it is rich with irony. Sometimes around here you just say, I, you can't make this stuff up. They're here in Washington, D.C., away from Texas, this is where their jobs are, to protest the fact that their um, views and voice is not being heard in Texas and that the majority in Texas is running roughshod over the minority and their rights. The same Democrats, I would add, who here in Washington, D.C. are trying to get rid of the legislative filibuster in the United States Senate. The very mechanism that historically has protected the rights of the minority and given them a voice in the legislative process the very thing that uh, has been used historically uh, in a way that ensures that the Senate has to come together behind big solutions, collaborate, find that common ground, find that compromise, uh, the Democrats here in Washington and these Democrats from Texas all in favor of getting rid of the legislative filibuster. I mean, think about that. <laughs> it's, just, it's really pretty remarkable that um, they would come up here to protest uh, what's happening in Texas at a time when they support getting rid of the very protections that give the minority here in the United States Senate a voice in that legislative process. And the other really remarkable irony about this is the issue that they're here to speak in support of is S-1, the bill that would federalize, that would nationalize elections in this country and take power away from states when it comes to regulating and administering elections, a power that has been held by states going back uh, to the founders. And so they came here basically to say, you know, you need to pass H.R. 1. Well, again, what is H.R. 1? H.R. 1 is this massive federal takeover of elections in this country, and it's also the test case for why we got to get rid of the legislative filibuster. And I would bet, I'd be willing to bet, that the Democrat leader at some point in the next couple of weeks is going to call up S-1 again. We voted on it once already, but he's going to call it up again because he thinks it's, it's good politics, and plus he wants to pressure his members to do away with the legislative filibuster in order to pass S-1 with 51 votes. So, again... The, the irony of all this, um, honestly, some stuff you just flat can't make up. But I would reiterate what I've said before about S-1. It is a, a uh, solution in search of a problem. We have states around this country who are, um, in some cases, you know, moving to uh, put in place election integrity measures, measures that will ensure that every vote counts and that everybody has an opportunity to vote but that, uh, that people don't have an opportunity to cheat. That's all it's about. It's about election integrity, and most of the measures that are being adopted around states around this country are simply that, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, and again, historically consistent with the way that our election process has been governed in this country, and that is to allow states to make those, to, to do things in a decentralized way, to not consolidate power here in Washington, D.C., but rather to distribute that power uh, and make it that much harder for somebody to hack into it. I mean, you think about it, you got 50 election systems in this country, it was what the founders intended. They wanted to distribute power, they wanted to have a decentralized system, uh, not one that was driven and controlled by a bureaucracy here in Washington, D.C. And I think that is uh, consistent with what the American people believes ought to happen 
and the, the case as it should be when it comes to elections in this country. And so uh, it, it really is interesting to see um, these uh, legislators from, Democrat legislators from Texas coming to Washington, D.C., coming all the way up here, uh, again, playing hooky uh, from their jobs in Texas uh, to protest uh, a piece of legislation that is being used by the Democrat leadership to try and get rid of the legislative filibuster, the very mechanism that protects the rights and the voice of the minority in the United States Senate and has literally uh, since our country's founding.